Hi there, welcome to Coffee Time with Jen. I'm excited about continuing our week long journey of following Jesus and his footsteps before the cross. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord God, for this day, Lord God, and we just pray, Lord God, that as we read your word, that you would bring the transforming power of your Holy Spirit into our lives, Lord God, that we would be vessels of your love to the community around us. In Jesus' name, amen. So today's passage of scripture comes from Mark chapter 14. We're going to read verses 12 through 16. On the first day of the festival of unleavened bread, when it was customary to sacrifice the Passover lamb, Jesus' disciples asked him, Where do you want us to go and make preparations for you to eat the Passover? So he sent two of his disciples, telling them, Go into the city, and a man carrying a jar of water will meet you. Follow him. Say to the owner of the house that he enters, The teacher asks, Where is my guest room? Where I may eat the Passover with my disciples. He will show you a large room upstairs, furnished and ready. Make preparations for us there. The disciples left, went into the city, and found things just as Jesus had told them. So they prepared the Passover. In our lives, we have very chaotic situations and circumstances around us that we're facing on a daily basis. And it's important for us to remember that God is a God of order, not of chaos. He intricately created this creation in seven days with a day planned for rest. So let us remember in all of the chaos that the God that we love and we serve whom loves us is a God of order for our lives as well. He gives us very clear instructions, just as he did with the disciples that day. He gives us his word, the Bible, with steps to follow throughout our everyday life. Things that we can put into application in our lives every day that will bring us joy and peace daily. And we're called to reflect that before others. And to help others with their daily living as well. Showing them the clear instructions that God has given us to live by. So I would encourage you today in your daily encounter, encounters with others, that you bring God's word with you. You take it with you. And you speak it into other people's lives around you. Giving them clear instructions, and clear expectations. I thank you for taking the time today to tune in to Coffee Time with J&J. &J. Would really appreciate it if you'd subscribe to the channel. Maybe share it with others that are journeying this journey as well of faith. And encourage them. Pray with them. Share with them. God has blessed us in so many ways. And remember, He's a God of order not of chaos. The chaos around us is usually produced by us. So speak peace in the chaos and take time to stay in God's word. Thank you guys. God bless and have a great day.